Today, I will show you the results of the most unsuccessful Russian offensive in the past year. All last summer, the Russians were amassing armored vehicles. And recently, they decided to launch an attack to encircle the city of Avdivka. Looking at the map, encircling the city might seem easy. Russian forces will attack from the north and south to encircle Ukrainian forces. But Avdivka is the most fortified position in the Ukrainian defense along the entire eastern front. The fiercest Ukrainians are fighting here. If the Russians manage to encircle Avdivka, they will break the Ukrainian defense and expand their success further. However, breaking the Ukrainian defense is not so easy. From the very first day, Russian tanks and armored vehicles were detonating on minefields. Being destroyed by artillery, anti-tank missiles, and FPV drones. The battlefield was littered with wrecked and burnt armored vehicles. Take a look at one of the scenes of the Russian attack. The first Russian tank in the column gets hit by a Javelin missile and explodes. Then, two Russian armored vehicles continue moving forward together but get blown up by a mine. Notice that there's already a lot of destroyed Russian armor around them, and they simply become the next casualties. Following them is another tank and several more armored vehicles all systematically destroyed by Ukrainian artillery or blown up by mines. In their desperation, the Russians wanted to use the flamethrower system Sonsepek. But Ukrainian aerial reconnaissance detected it in time and destroyed it with an FPV drone. All the ammunition exploded, creating a large fireball tens of meters high. And then, another BMP loaded with ammunition was turned into a fireball. In just a few days, over 60 units of Russian armor were destroyed. And four fighter jets were shot down. But the Russians didn't give up and continued their operation. In this video, we see two Russian tanks moving on a combat mission. The Ukrainians hit the last tank with an anti-tank missile, causing it to explode immediately due to its ammunition load. The second tank decided not to continue the mission and returned by a different route, but a Ukrainian missile struck it there as well. It was also blown up. This combat mission was never destined to be completed. Probably their mission is impossible. This tank was advancing straight towards a Ukrainian bunker. It fired a shot and was hit by a Ukrainian anti-tank grenade, instantly detonating on a mine. All of this happened in just about one second. As a result, the crew abandoned the tank without accomplishing the mission. One of the tanks attempted to flee the battlefield, but was intercepted by an FPV drone and incinerated. During an advance, Tanks require fuel. Therefore, the fuel tanker is a legitimate target for Ukrainian forces. They hit it with a cluster munition, destroying the fuel tanker and preventing it from delivering fuel to Russian tanks. Reconnaissance noticed a Russian BM-21 Grad MLRS during fire. It was decided not to destroy it immediately, but to track it. As a result, we discovered where they stored their ammunition. Another BM-21 Grad vehicle arrived to load itself with ammunition. While they were loading, their coordinates were relayed to the High Mars crew, who delivered a precise rocket strike. The ammunition began detonating, resulting in an explosion that demolished the entire location, including two BM-21 Grad launchers. Take a look. A Russian soldier captured on camera a Ukrainian tank projectile flying right over his head. Furthermore, FPV drones targeted the trucks supplying Russian forces with ammunition. All of them were ruthlessly incinerated. 
Watch how a self-propelled howitzer M109 precisely destroyed a Russian truck. Among other things, Ukrainians generously sprinkle the battlefield with cluster munitions. This leaves the Russians with no chance of escaping the battlefield. Ukrainian soldiers also discovered a pile of anti-tank mines and directed a kamikaze drone there, destroying all the mines. Additionally, an ammunition depot in an abandoned house was destroyed. This offensive operation has become the most unsuccessful in the past year of combat actions. To better oversee the defense, General Zaluzny, the overall commander of the Ukrainian armed forces, arrived on the front lines. It's very important for the general to see everything with his own eyes. Only then can strategic decisions be made correctly. The war in Ukraine is no longer what it started as. It's no longer a war for territories. It's a war of attrition. The primary goal is to destroy the enemy's military potential, a goal Ukraine is successfully achieving. But most of all, Ukrainians have destroyed Russian armored personnel carriers, exacerbating global warming. Russian armored personnel carriers are easily set on fire and destroyed. Ukrainians refer to them as canned goods stuffed with ammunition. The main goal is to scare the Russians so that they flee and then all that scrap metal can be destroyed. Russia has a large number of them. They inherited them from the Soviet army, which was the world's largest army with about 5 million personnel. During the war, Ukrainians have already managed to destroy over 5,000 of these personnel carriers, but Russia may still have around 10,000 such vehicles in reserve, so there is much work yet to be done. To understand how strong Ukrainian soldiers can be, take a look at this video. It's not fake. A soldier lifts a solid oak log weighing around 400 kilograms from the ground. Then without much difficulty, he hoists it onto his shoulder and carries it to load onto a truck. Meanwhile. The United States has allocated over $60 billion in aid to Ukraine for the coming year. We're facing an inflection point in history. One of those moments where the decisions we make today are going to determine the future for decades to come. A U.S. president stated that this is in the interest of the United States and democracy worldwide. Ukraine has already started using long-awaited Atacams missiles, and the Russians are facing serious trouble. Friends, thank you for watching this episode. I'm already preparing more interesting videos for you, so I recommend subscribing to the channel to make sure you don't miss them.